Oh, nope, there we go. Hello, Bloggerneers. We are at Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado, and we're going to show you the fun things you can do here. Now we're at the next stop. Okay. Now we are at Mesa Verde National Park. Our next stop is our next stop is Mesa Verde National Park. Another attraction. Another attraction is uh, another attraction is Mesa Verde National Park. A final stop. The next attraction you should visit is Mesa Verde National Park. Our final stop is Mesa Verde National Park. Okay. One, two, three. Look here, Archie. Now we're getting our junior. Now we're getting our junior ranger booklets. Do you need pencils? Uh, sure. Wait, hold on. I might have some. Junior ranger book. The most important page to do is this first one. You're gonna learn how to be respectful in the parks, and I'm sure you guys look like you've done this before, so I'm sure you already have some ideas, which is awesome. And then you're gonna go through the book. These two pages are kind of hard to do because the museum's not open, so feel free to skip those. And then you just have to pick three different activities that you think look fun. And depending on what you do, you can do as many as you want. But three is what we ask when you come please. back to a ranger and get your badge now. Okay. okay. Now we're inside the visitor center and we're gonna buy some souvenirs. I'm gonna do this first. All right. All right, so we bought the National Park sticker and we're gonna place it in the Rocky Mountain region along with Rocky Mountain National Park and Great Sand Dunes National Park. I'm gonna stick it. Okay, I'll do the first half. I'll have camera. Why don't you hold Captain so tight? I'm not. It's fine. No, Nelly. Oh, yeah. Brother. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Which stamp do you want? Miss Everett. I want to stamp it. Let me test it first. Yeah. July 27th. Yeah, I, I can put that in. Okay, you can stamp it. Wait, hold on. Let, yeah. me, let me place it first. I'm going to place it first and you press down. Wait, I already put all the ink. Like this. Okay. Ready? Okay. Visit all the states. So basically the top things in each state. But you only pass by because when you're seeing yes. just national when you're seeing just national parks, then you're only seeing the national parks in that state and not every time. Turn on headlights then. This element. Stop. Oh, we're, we're oh, on yeah. the loop. Uh, first, we're going. Uh, first, we're we're, we're driving the loop oh, yeah. and the far first time. We're driving the Mesa Top Loop, which is a six mile driving loop. And along the way, there's many pit stops. So the first one is the Pit House. Pit House. Pit House. Pit House.
This site used to be a pit house in 600 AD where the Native Americans lived and there were also seven other pit houses nearby so they lived in a community. The next stop is Navajo Canyon Overlook. Mm -hmm. That circle on top, over there, oh, that's a pebble. That's a pebble. A pebble? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, okay. that's a pebble. One, two, three, cheese. Yeah. Boo -boo. Look here. Cheese. All right, let's show one more time. One, two, three, looky. The next point of interest is Square Tower House Overlook. It's from AD 1200. So that's like 600 years after the pit houses. Oh. This is a very nice trail. It's all paved and accessible for ADA. Atta. Oh, that's the square house down there. Tell the camera. Maybe. All right, go. That's the square house over there. It's our first cliff, de a cl cl cliff dwelling we saw today. I'm going to get one of your. Oh, I'm sure if there were kids, they played. Can you believe they use ropes and stuff to get down there? And. Stop a A little bit closer. Closer to our Anga. Pit Houses and Pueblos is the next stop. One, two, three, cheese. Tap on the go. Guess what it is at this point. In the middle. No, that doesn't sound like it. We're having trouble with the Junior Ranger book. This is a kiva which was used for religious purposes. The bottom of the pit has like a fire area and there's the there's a sitting area all around. It's like a bench. And with the fire pit inside the kiva, the smoke can come out from this chimney. Talk. Mesa Tops. Next is Mesa Tops. Next is Mesa Top Sites, eighty nine hundred. 
I don't know what's here. Oh, there's some stuff out here. There's some stuff out here. This underground structure has multiple rooms and a tunnel. <laughs> These actually used to be towers, but then the towers over the years just went away. And the towers were linked by underground tunnels, as you can see, to Kivas. Oh my goodness. See, you can tell that they tried to do a little fire pit. See, they had to build a structure to protect these structures from. Yeah, I'm got. This is some. This is the Sun Point Pueblo. Down there. This is the Sun. This is the Sun Point Pueblo. See this? Uh, so we're. What's it? Wait, but I cannot turn the There's a tower in there too. I got. This is the Sun Point. This is the Sun Point Pueblo, and there's another tower and a kiva. Oh, oh well, there's a house over there. Right. Oh, this is the Sun Point View. All right, there you go. This is the Sun Point View, and we can see houses there in the cliff. That is the Cliff Palace, and unfortunately, it's closed for tours right now. Where is it? Oh. Okay, let's go back in the car. Yeah, I agree. Oh, all right, let's. Yeah. One, two, three, two. Oh, let me see if I can give the cliff house here. All right, no, come on the other side real quick. All right, ready? One, two, three, three. Oh. Step back, one step, Babu. No, not you. You move back. All right, one, two, three. Oh, it's up there? I think it's on. You go around here. I think it's on. That's the sun. Oh, right here. This right here. Above is the public place. And then location or whatever. Behind me is the fire temple, another religious location. Oh, look, you want to say, this is Sun Temple, and we're just over there on the other side. Okay. Uh, all right, yeah. This is the Sun Temple. We were just on the other side, and now we're actually at the temple. Let's go inside. Never mind. Ah, it stinks. <coughs> Someone just pooped it. Oh man. 
Palace of Olibrisco. From here, you can get a better view of the Cliff Palace. It's also starting to rain. I don't include. Sorry, we can't rain. I can't see. I'll lift you up. Interesting. We're going to turn in our Junior Ranger booklets for a badge. Let's see. Tell me one oh, thing. Wait, wait. Tell me one thing you learned. Oh, this is my Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> one thing you learned. Anything. <laughs> Can't get a badge if you didn't learn anything. The, that some of the uh, houses that they built had were like towers, but they had underground tunnels connected. Yeah. And there were a lot of different types of homes, pit houses and cliff dwellings. Cool. What about you, bro? Gotta think something, anything. Something you learned about Mesa Verde, something you learned about National Park Service, something you learned about yourself. Not a trick question. Come on, hurry up. Anything at all? I really don't know. <laughs> well, you did all these activities, you didn't learn anything from those? Yeah. Come on, something you learned there. Maybe something you learned not to do. What should you not do? You wrote it right here. What did you learn? So that's fine. What is it though? Uh huh. What does the sign say? Don't walk. That's right. That counts. Yeah. Well, that's not a trick question, man. It's, <laughs> anything you learn counts, even if you already knew it, right? You learned it at some point. All right. So repeat after me. Oh, I'll follow your stuff. Oh, okay. No. Right, right, look. Pupu. Oh, right. All right. Raise your, raise your, raise your right hand. Hurry, raise your right hand. Other hand. Okay. Repeat after me. As a Mesa Verde Junior Ranger. As a Mesa Verde Junior Ranger. I promise to protect Mesa Verde. I promise to protect Mesa Verde. And all national parks. I also promise to stay on trails. Not tickle the lizards. What? Not what? tickle the lizards. I never saw that when I went uh, to Oh, that's because this is my special one. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you gotta say it. Not tickle the lizards. <laughs> not tickle the lizards. And recycle when I can. And recycle when I can. Oh, we're not done yet. I will also respect. I also respect. All people, all people and cultures. All right, well done, gentlemen. I never saw the that's tickle right. like you a lizard. You memorized it ahead of time. Uh, one part <laughs> Probably uh, send go collect your thing. Not, Don't forget to say thank you. Anyway. Oh. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, how are you doing, y'all? What do you say, Booba? You're welcome. Thank you.
We're hiking on a paved road to the Long House for a guided tour, and the paved road is 0 0.7 miles. Each way should take 20 minutes, and behind us are very scary looking clouds. Bless you. Bless you. Me? What, what, what? We have put on ponchos because there's a chance it could rain or thunder or lightning. One, two, three, cheese. I'll take out the hood real quick, then. No. No? All right. One, two, three, cheese. Well, if it's. Be careful. Come to tap on Kambu. Oh, this is the ladder. The up right. How safe are we? How safe are we right now with no. One, two, I'm triple like people. I'll try one, two, three, cheese. Two, there we go. We took our ponchos off because it stopped drizzling and we got too hot. And we made it to the lone house. For now, we're protected from lightning and rain because. Yeah. Um, I don't felt. think so. The strikes the rocks. I don't really know about that. But it'll strike up there. Still, the rock might be coming down there. Right. One, two, three, two. And go. Now we're gonna climb up the ladder just as the Native Americans did. Oh, turn around for a picture, boo boo. One, two, three, cheese. Ha! One more time. One, two, three, cheese. Okay. Yes, because we have to look here. Look here. Step to your right two steps. I right, look here. One, two, three, cheese. One, two, three,
Is it the last one? Oh, that's the image. Oh, wait, hold on, I'm gonna record. Okay. We went up the ladder, that was a pretty cool experience, and now we're completely covered if it were to rain. There's a pile of logs here, maybe the Native Americans used that for fires, like cooking. No. When we look at these rooms back there, we usually say that they are going to be either living space or storage. Back there, there's a little bit of smoke. Okay, do that, that again. suggests that perhaps this was living space, right? Oh, where was it? Uh, in the corner, see this one? Oh, okay. Corner? So, probably in this room, we don't seem to see any of the fire. And so, in this case, uh, we would say probably storage space. How? Where you would get your water from if you were here. Oh, so water flows from. So it soaks down through the sandstone and it comes out at this level. I thought they were fake. The ladders were pretty sturdy. Mm -hmm. See? Were they Told you so. It's Wait, are those the ones that the natives are wearing? No. 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 They, they, are, they are probably pretty. Uh, uh, your backpack. That's fine. No, my. Yeah. Yeah. Worst drought in over a thousand years. But the whole time we've been in Colorado, it's been raining. Well, that's because it's been a protest. Uh, no. That's like a good area over there. Well, you know, what? I mean, it starts to rain. Oh, yeah. It's starting to rain, I mean, but we're protected by the never, cliff. Yeah, people are usually. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's starting to rain, but we're protected. Oh, okay. It's starting to rain, but we're protected by the cliff. I'm thinking that we should maybe. Yeah, don't worry. Oh, we're here. Move on. Uh, well, I'm okay. not sure, All the greenery here is because of there. seeps. All the greenery here is because of seep springs, so the water seeps down no, all the way there, and then the plants are able to grow. And that's also how the natives got their water. One, two, three, cheese. Oh, well, like Camu app. One, two, three, cheese, and... Block out that two miles. Move over to your left. Yeah. Right. One, two, three, cheese. Take out, come move. Alright, ready? One, two, three, cheese. Yeah? Can you take a photo of me? Oh, yeah, I need a One, two, three, cheese. Dada, take yeah? a picture of me. One, two, three, cheese. That's interesting. I haven't heard that Raise your hands, raise your arms. You think I could pause? Kiva, right? Yeah. All right, go. This is a, okay. This is a Kiva where the, uh, All right, All right go. Based on the other Kivas we've seen throughout this national park, I think this is their Kiva of the longhouse which was their religious and ceremony place. Mommy, you know, Mama wouldn't be seven. Mama wouldn't be seven. Uh, not yet. Right? Look here. One, two, three, three. Mama. All right. Let's go. Oh, oh another one. Oh, look to your left. Mama, how about Mama's sister? Just you take a picture. Do you want me to take photo here? You know what I see you? Yeah. Careful, there's bird poop. Is there? You put him on the. It's fine. Okay, well, actually, it's fine. All right, move. Camu, don't uh, slouch. Uh, all right. Oh, oh, all right, watch out. All right, ready? One, two, three. Uh, go. This, this is a pretty cool place to be because you're right where they used. This is really cool because you're right where the Native Americans used to be, and these were their rooms. They're kind of small, but probably pretty cozy because in the winter, it would keep them safe from snow and rain, and also 
I don't know how they keep warm, but in the summer, at least it's cooler than the outside since it's shaded. What? Like all different levels here? And that's how small the doorways are? What? How small the doorways oh, are. Oh, yeah. And all different levels. Okay. I know. It's also cool that there's so many different levels. It's like being in a multi-story building and all the doorways are so small. Oh, maybe I can have Ranger take a picture of the family picture. Maybe. The other way. No, the other way. Turn around. I'm already going. No, 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 don't keep going. Closer. Negative Yeah. Come on, there's a. One, There's a handprint up there. Oh, wait, it's there. Hold on. Mama, make it bigger, okay? There's a handprint up there. Maybe they were climbing the walls. Let me try video. <laughs> Oh, okay. Would there be like a family size, maybe like a man and woman and two kids? No, I mean, just like today, different. Yeah, I would say different because um, we have conjecture with that. So usually oh, Mama, move out of the way. Actually, I'll record. Oh. The ranger just said that there's about 125 people used to live here, like at one time. And I don't know, I, don't, I can't tell if that's too much or too little because there are a lot of living places, but 125 seems like a small population compared to today's cities. So maybe it's just right. Ready? One, two, three, cheese. Oh, let me zoom in. Cheese. Okay. The roof would have been like. Oh, I and see every wood room had a flat roof on it. Every Kiva had a flat roof on it. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> and and why they put it up there? Maybe it was. Uh, you can see there's a wall here, so there's probably uh, a wall building that like that. There would have been a roof probably at about this level, maybe even a little bit higher. Uh -huh. um, so you would have just put it on the roof. And huh. that one right there. So you can actually start counting the rooms. Okay. So those lines on the wall, those are both called ghost walls. And you can imagine that there were at least, I don't know, five or six rooms right there. Wow. Fires in each one. Uh -huh. but it's starting to rain now. It's starting to rain again, and this time we're not protected. Careful. Uh Wave. Hold on. I need to back up. Wave again, Boo Boo. Cliff writing and stuff. Um, archaeologists do find petroglyphs. No, no, get your punch That's totally no. Cool. no um, I don't want your body to be soaked away. Oh, I'll well, go back. Yeah, because then you will be done. Bring it right, up. We put the ponchos back on because it's starting to rain and we've pretty much seen everything at the longhouse. This was a pretty cool place to be and I'm glad that we were uh, sheltered by the rain for a while. The ladders were really fun to climb and, and the rangers here were very helpful and they gave us a lot of information. So now let's go back up. Oh, and... uh, uh, brother, what? What? His favorite part. Oh, yeah. Brother, what was your favorite part? 
My favorite part was. There wasn't much crying. Maybe just take the photo. I told. Maybe just. This is the whole set. My favorite part was. My favorite part was taking photos. Oh, and I also got one right. here to say. Uh, yes, I, uh, all right. So now let's hurry back up before we get struck by lightning. I found it ages, so I think it might blow out your tires. Oh, careful. Oh, that's really good. Ready? And now we venture into the rain. Just hold your own puncher, okay? If you want to off, hold your own. Well, we don't drop it. Oh, wild horse. Ready? Look at it. One, two. Two, three, cheese. Tell the camera, tell, oh, tell the camera. There's horses over here. Bogdaniers, we're in the state of Colorado and we're going to show you three national parks. All right, and do the first one is, the second one is, and then I'll, I'll um, insert right. it. So I'll do it in the chronological order. Right. The first one is Rocky Mountain National Park in, in a, near Denver. Yeah, near Denver. The first one is Rocky Mountain National Park near Denver. The second one is the Great Sand Dune. Sand Dune. Near yeah. Alamo. The second one is Great Sand Dunes National Park. The second one is Great Sand Dunes National Park near Alamosa. And near Durango, right? Yeah. The third one is the third the third one is Mesa Verde National Park near Durango. Okay. And that's our And that is the three national parks we visited in Colorado. Brother, what did you think of them? Uh, I think I like, uh, I think I like, um, what's this one? What's this park called? Mesa Verde National Park. I think I like Mesa Verde National Park. Yeah, I agree that Mesa Verde National Park is the most unique of all the national parks we've been to because it's cliff dwellings and you also get great views like over here and yeah, it was it was also nice that we got to go up close to the cliff dwelling and climb the ladders and everything. Rocky Mountains National Park was also nice, but I feel like we've seen that type of scenery in the state we live, California. Yeah, that's my that's second. Yeah, that's my second favorite because the lakes we hiked to were so cool, but it just wasn't as unique as Mesa Verde. And also, and our least favorite is Great Sand Dunes National Park because. I, I mean, it was not bad. And if you're fascinated with sand, then we recommend you visit it. But we like White Sands National Park in New Mexico better. And Great Sand Dunes, just there wasn't much to do. You could have hiked to the top of the sand dunes, but that would have been super hard. And because the sand is so deep. Yeah, and the sand was it's... hot and we didn't we didn't have a great time there, but it was okay. Oh no, I mentioned uh, the sandboarding, it was fun. Like, okay. you, you try uh -huh. something new. 
However, sandboarding was interesting. And brother was great at it. I sucked. But at least I tried something new. Right, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> and that's it. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.